Howdy folks, it's the Tall Turtle here. Welcome back to Forza Motorsport 7. This is the Forza Drivers Cup. Finishing the Domination Championship. We already got the points to move on, but we're going to do every race just because we can. And um, if you haven't seen these videos yet, check out a few others. But um, we just race it all. Have a bit of fun. We win some, we lose some. We have a string of wins, a string of last places. Just depends on the race and the car and how much they adapt to the changes in the AI. So let's get going and do the next race of the Domination Championship. We have two left. We have the 70, Formula 70s, which, oh boy, and Vintage GT. Which one should we do first? Um, eeny, meeny, miny, mo, catch a tiger by the toe. If you holler, let's do the Vintage GT. Monstrously powerful. These lightweight and beautiful vintage cars harken back to a different time. It's when motorsport races were the battlegrounds in the 50s and 60s, and when driver safety was an afterthought. Yeah, that's true. They didn't care about driver safety back then. They just wanted the fastest car, and these things are nuts. Um, let's just do this one, because I like Lotus. Let's see how this goes. All right, driver tire difficulty is still average, and assist, what do we got? Off, off, normal, off, off with a clutch. I think they have a clutch. I would assume they would back then. Everything is off here, except the collision assist. Okie dokie. Uh, we have enough mods in here, I think. Nope, we gotta add one. Normal steering. Let's throw that in there. And let's see where we're gonna race. Sebring to start with. Okie dokie. Let's see how long it takes me to get used to this car. Rolling starts. Let's start in second gear. Um, each time I do a new series, it takes me a long time to get used to the car. So I'm just hoping that if I concentrate well enough... Oh wow, these are fast. Um, I'm just hoping if I concentrate, I can get used to the car a lot faster than normal. Instead of taking six races to get used to it. This is ridiculous. Um. What? Did you see that? They. He's. I went the wrong way. Instead of going the wrong way. He spun me out. And I rolled. I didn't even have a chance. So I have a feeling this could be the... Oh boy, oh boy. These are fast. I have a feeling this could be the kind of race where, um... If you spin out, you're just done for the race. Because, holy cow, that was ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Okay, well... We'll just use this as like a practice time to use to this car, I guess. Man, this is light. Takes barely any effort to turn, but then it throws you into a spin. Whoa, look at that. Wow. You cannot throw this car at all. It just kicks the back end out. How well do the brakes work? Um, not very, I guess. I don't know. Holy moly guacamole. Oh, wow. Okay. I mean, I should probably do test drives in all these different cars, but my time is so limited in real life that if I test drive for a while, I just will never have time to race. Oh my gosh, this is nuts. Wow, even when you step on the brake, even in a straight line, it, um, it, like, starts kicking the back end out.
So even though these cards are fast and light, the problem is they don't grip, obviously, because they're so light. So if you're not perfect, you just lose it. Holy cow. All right, well, one more lap of this nonsense. Wish me luck here. And again, we're running this raw, so no traction control, no ABS, no um, special steering assists, friction assist is off. So if we go off that track, you're a goner. Um, we run it raw, so we'll see how this goes. I'm getting the hang of it, but I'm very slow. So even though I have the car under control now, I'm doing it in a very slow manner. So we'll have to see if it'll if it'll work in the next race, you know, to apply what I'm doing here. Um, all the standard rules apply, it's just more sensitive to it. So of course make sure you are completely done braking before you start to corner. Make sure you got your downshifts done before you start to corner. Don't accelerate too soon and never floor it. Um, those things, it's just a very sensitive version of all those things. Barely stepped on the gas and it spun me completely around. I saw the straightaway and I got a little carried away, I guess. Man, oh man. Are we gonna drift it? Come on, come on, come on. Aww. I'm wasting all your time watching. So those of you who are watching, come on, reverse. Thank you. So I am, look at that, not a single good turn out of six. That's hilarious. Well, let's finish this if I can. And, um, and maybe we'll get him on the next one. Le Mans at night, and it's the full circuit, so just one lap. So, say goodbye to this race. But those of you who are still watching, thank you very much. <laughs> thank you for being loyal. And, um, let's see how this nonsense goes. Yeah, look at that. You cannot floor it. At all. You can hear my tires spinning in second gear with low RPMs. That's crazy. Oh, 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 I got pushed off and then once you're off it's hard to control. I'm tempted to turn on traction control and stuff, but I don't think they had traction control in these cars. I really don't think they did, so... But I might have to, so I can at least finish a race. We'll see how it goes.
Look at this, 180 miles an hour. And I'm still 190. Holy cow. I want seventh gear and I don't have one. Oh boy. This whole thing is out of control. This whole straightaway, I'm not in control. I'm at the mercy. 194 and wants another gear. I don't have one. Nope, not even on the paddle shifter. 193. We're not going to hold this position, by the way. Because something's going to happen. Like that. And I'm not going to be able to maintain position. So, let's just enjoy this while we can. And watch what this guy does. How come he is see... What? Oh, wow. Oh. I think the title is going to be Rollovers or something. Rollover Inevitable. I don't know. The Rollover King. I don't know. Each race has had a rollover. This is nuts. Oh, oh. See, you lose it. Once you bump somebody, you have no control over what you're doing. That's crazy. Wow. Wow. See, how, how come they can stop so fast? I tap the brake, and it put me into a spin. They slam on the brakes, and they regain control. See what I mean? Like, sometimes I think cards like this are meant to be driven with all the assists, even if they normally don't in real life obviously have the assists. Because, see, I tap the brakes, and I just slide into them. Hmm, I don't know. This whole straightaway, again, I have no control of what I'm doing. I'm just flying around. This is not so. See, I tap the brakes. See how I slid around? See? See? I tap the brakes. I have no control over the brakes at all. But they keep control over it. Oh, there's that dang... It would be fun to do cars like this with real people, with all the assists off. Because look at this. They are going in and out of corners. I am barely hanging on. See? See my steering wheel shaking? I barely made that corner, but they made it with ease. So, we'll see here. See, I, I tapped on the, I stepped on the brakes and I just slide into them. But they step on them, they actually stop. Nuts. Just nuts. Is this the end? What do we got? 18th. Yeah, I'm going to turn on assist. This is not fun like this. Alright, here we go. ABS on. Traction control on. Stability on. Everything else will keep the same. And while we're in here, let's get some more mods in so we make use of everything. Third or better, think we can do it? Let's go. F whoops. Yeah, that's right. Okie dokie. Where's it taking us? Watkins Glen. Nice wide track. All right, we should be able to win this now. Let's see how this goes with the assists. All right, we're trying to keep the realism up, but when you have AI that is running a crappier line than me, and they're faster, and they're not having any issues, and they're able to um, slow down and do all this stuff. Oh yeah, now we can stop. That's better. Nice. I'm still getting hit, but whatever. See, I didn't spin around because I have traction control on and stability control on. So when they hit me, it doesn't seem to bother me. Oh yeah, this is way better. This is way better. Only because you have to keep up with the AI. See, now I can keep up with them.
I'm still barely keeping up though. Like, you still can't floor it. You still gotta be really careful. Can I stop now? Oh boy. Oh, who spun me around? Hey, 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 hey. Oh, it's still not fun if you get spun around, but at least we have a chance. Yeah, see? Aww. Look out. Well, we might still have a chance. Oh, man. If we didn't get spun out. Shoot. See, now the brakes work. And now I can actually make corners. So gotta be careful though. If you floor it, you still get kicked around, so... There's still some of that. You still have to rev match. Okay, of course you do. But at least it's drivable. Ooh, ooh, you still gotta be really careful. It doesn't make it perfectly easy, which is good. At least now we can see the other cars. One lap down, one to go. Let's see if we can not be in last place and I'll be happy. Um, I tried turning and he hit me right when I was going to start my turn. Oh well. See, at least we can keep up. I suppose with hours of practice, I could obviously do better, but I don't want to practice for hours. <laughs> um, my thing didn't register second gear. That was weird. I tried shifting into second, and it didn't take it. Don't, oh, I knew that was going to happen. I was going to say, don't spin me out. We get a top 10. I doubt it, but we're going to go for it. Let's go. What do we got? Ninth place. Now we're talking. All right. Where does that put us? 16th, but with a crappy start, we'll take it. That's the end of this episode. You know the drill. We'll finish the series in the next one.